On this episode of Dating Code, we'll be discussing everything around being single and searching for the one. <laughs> single not searching? Are the single guys and gals having more fun than those in relationships? They better not. Being single is fun until you get into that point where you're single and you're not making it at the same time. Being single is fun, especially when you know that you can't sleep knowing that nobody's taking you for an idiot. I'm the kind of guy that when I'm single, I don't feel like I'm single because I, you know, I hang out with my friends because I have a lot of fun while being single. There's some things you don't necessarily need to worry about since you're all by yourself. So better off you not know, being single when somebody you can sharply call your babe. I beg I did short to. I need to buy fuel for the car. Can you, you know? Or she's calling you because she knows you're there and stuff. This one, you you call God. <laughs> Good thing about being single, you can see all the red flags. You can have your different guys for different things because you're not in love with anyone and you know love blinds you from all their flaws. Being single is a time to just, you know, focus on yourself, get yourself together. And the perks of being single, like what I'm saying, just it's a time to reflect. I think being single is not bad. It's not as bad as you guys make it seem, especially people that are in relationship. <laughs> A serious relationship actually gives you a sense of responsibility because you know your actions reflect on your partner. It is in Lagos is spontaneous. In this Lagos, you miss someone today, you want to date the person today, you want to sleep with the person today, you want to marry the person today. Everything wants to happen all at once. If you're a date babe for Lagos, I tell you, I beg you, no con they proud. You are inviting your guys to come and meet my girl. No, do one because you might be inviting our previous guys to come and meet her again. I mean, we need chaos to survive. It brings balance to the world. So dating in Lagos is fun and chaotic. The other day, I was in Zaza, and a guy said hello to me. I looked at him, and he was grinding on someone while saying hello to me. You never know, he's probably married, who knows, at home while doing that. You take an average girl out, the least you're gonna spend is the least if the girl has a fear of God. What are we? <clears throat> we are nothing but pencils in the hands of the creator. <laughs> no, but seriously, what do you do when you find yourself stuck in a talking stage? What do people talk about during talking stage? What's your favorite color? David or Whiskey? Messi or Ronaldo? What's your, your blood type, your blood group? Secondly, do you have any kinks I should know about? Do you have a criminal background? Ah. In the talking stage, you can talk to 100 girls. Because so you're not even sure the one you're talking to will say yes. I remember one time my guy got mad. Somehow him and this chick, they were talking about sex. And then he asked her her body count and she blocked him. <laughs> it's not good to pour out all the topics in one week. Especially if it's a decent relationship. Topic they finish you. Topic na go kwa go. You know got no girl to talk again, you can't be like say they lie. I've been talking to this lady two months after I won Big Brother. See today, ask me how they stand for this place. He never agree. We never meet one on one. After two weeks, you should know what you're doing with someone. There's sometimes from talking stage, you won't even know where you're in the zone. You padlock you there. <laughs> so at this point now, I'm not tired of talking. So all, the all I just do is, I hope you're fine. We are ready for me, idea. So if it's lasting too long, just know he's already committed to someone else. What are we? <laughs> that is where you have to go into the legendary of Makadasi. <laughs> we are the world. Oh! We are the children. I don't I don't see a problem with what are we? I don't know why people shame what are we. Maybe we broke up, got back together, like an off and on type of relationship, but I can never ask a guy what are we. Which is why I feel like girls shouldn't give anything until there's a title. Just hit me one day with it. I was like, what are we? What well, guys now? And then she asked me again, no, what are we like? What are we right now? I said, you're my friend. <laughs> she blocked it. I, I think to this day we've all spoken. Ah, Amanda. Not asking what are we has put people in situations that they shouldn't be in. So now you're having sex with someone that you keep thinking, OK, when is he going to ask the question? What are we doing? Like, it's in your head. When I get that, what are we doing? That, that calls back my sense to like, yo, if you know you're not going to be serious with this, this is the perfect time to say it. <laughs> ah, do I think women should approach men they really like? Yes. I can never approach a man if I'm interested. Maybe if he's super shy, but it'll still be indirectly. Like I'll have a friend set it up. Believe in giving the green light, just subtle here and there, he should catch on. Catch us next week for more tips and tricks on how to navigate the complex world of dating.